everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to start the topic of motivational thinkers and the first thinker here is abraham maslow so who was abraham maslow he was an american psychologist who was best known for creating maslow's hierarchy of needs a theory of psychological health predicted on fulfilling innate human needs in priority culminating in self actualization maslow was a psychology professor at alien international university brandeis university brooklyn college new school for social research and columbia university he stressed the importance of focusing on the positive qualities in people as opposed to treating them as a bag of symptoms a review of general psychology survey published in 2002 has ranked maslow as the 10th most cited psychologist of the 20th century so maslow's hierarchy of needs is a motivational theory in psychology and it comprises of five tier model of human needs which is depicted in a pyramid theek hai from the bottom of the hierarchy upwards the needs are physiological needs safety needs love and belongingness needs esteem needs and self actualization needs needs lower down in hierarchy must be satisfied before individuals can attend to the needs higher up so here is the pyramid you can see physiological and safety needs are in the category of basic needs then belongingness and love needs esteem needs are part of psychological needs and the topmost self actualization is self fulfillment need which means achieving one's full potential including creative activities Before we start discussing all the five needs in detail let's look at the concept of deficiency needs versus growth needs so the five stages model can be divided into deficiency needs and growth needs the first four levels are often referred to as deficiency needs d needs we bolte hain usko theek hai and the top level is known as growth or being needs matlab b needs theek hai isko yaad rakhna hai डेफिशियंसी नीड्स वैसे नीड्स है दैट दे अराइज आउट ऑफ डेप्रिवेशन मतलब जो चीज हमें एक लंबे समय तक नहीं मिलती तो उसको पाने की मोटिवेशन ज्यादा होती है हमें ठीक है फॉर इंस्टेंस द लॉन्गर पर्सन गोज विदाउट फूड इज हंग्री द मोर ही फील्स हंग्री एंड मोटिवेटेड टू अर्न हिज ब्रेड नाउ मास लो इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री वेन ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट डेफिशियंसी एंड ग्रोथ नीड्स ही सेट दैट इंडिविजुअल्स मस्ट सेटिस्फाई लोअर लेवल डेफिसिट नीड्स before progressing to the higher needs or the b needs but he later clarified that the satisfaction is not that a person should get paid bhar ke khana he is not saying that ek degree tak bhi fulfill ho jaye to kafi hai to move to the next need theek hai ek waqt ka khana bhi mil gaya to hum dusre jo apne needs hai uske bare mein soch sakte hain now this particular pyramid here is divided into deficiency needs and growth needs theek hai Yeah, you can see esteem, love, belonging, safety, physiological needs are part of deficiency needs. Motivation decreases as needs are met. Growth need me kya orai? Motivation increases and as needs are met. When a deficient need has been more or less satisfied, it will go away, and our activities become habitually directed towards meeting the next set of needs. ठीक है? These then become our salient needs. However, growth needs continue to be felt and may even become stronger. as they have been engaged now let's remember three things growth needs do not stem from a lack of something but rather from a desire to grow as a person once these needs have been reasonably satisfied one may be able to reach the highest level called self actualization therefore every person is capable of reaching the self actualization stage just remind yourself you can do it we all can do it Unfortunately, progress is often disrupted by a failure to meet lower level needs. Life experiences, divorce, loss of job, depression may cause an individual to fluctuate between levels of hierarchy before reaching the ultimate level of self actualization. Therefore, not everyone will move through the hierarchy in unidirectional manner. एक ही direction में step by step हर कोई move नहीं कर सकता है because they may move back and forth between different types of needs. Now let's talk about all the needs in detail. First, physiological needs. So these needs are biological requirements for human survival like air, food, drink, shelter, clothing, warmth, sleep. If these needs are not satisfied, the human beings cannot function, right? So Maslow considers physiological needs the most important as all other needs become secondary until these needs are fulfilled. 
Now let's talk about safety needs. Once an individual's physiological needs are fulfilled, the needs for security and safety are becoming more important for that person. People want to experience order, predictability and control their lives. These needs can be fulfilled by family and society like police, schools, business and medical care. For example, emotional security, financial security, law and order, freedom from fear, social stability, property, health and well-being. That is safety against accidents and injuries. So these are our next set of needs. After physiological needs are there, safety needs, right? Very easy to remember. So now let's talk about love and belongingness needs. After physiological and safety needs, the third level of human needs is social and it involves feelings of belongingness. The need for interpersonal relationships motivates behavior. Examples include friendship, intimacy, trust, and acceptance, receiving and giving affection and love, affiliating being part of a group like family, friends, and also at work, having informal groups. Now let's talk about esteem needs. So these are at the fourth level in Maslow's hierarchy need, and he has classified it into two categories. First, esteem for oneself, that is dignity, achievement, mastery, independence, and the desire for reputation or respect from others. So this is category number two, that is status, prestige. Maslow indicated that the needs for respect or reputation is most important for children and adolescents and precedes real self-esteem or dignity. If we give some respect in our childhood, we appreciate someone, so that stays with us for the rest of our lives and makes us more confident. Now let's talk about self-actualization needs, which are the highest level in Maslow's hierarchy and refers to realization of one's potential, self-fulfillment, seeking personal growth, and being at the peak of one's career. Maslow in 1943 describes this level as the desire to accomplish everything that one can dream of. Individuals may perceive or focus on their needs specifically. Yani, kisi ko achcha parent banna hai, kisi ko economically, academically, you know, success achieve karna hai. And some may express it creatively in paintings, pictures, or inventions. Therefore, self-actualization is the stage where we always wanted to be in our lives. At this stage, all our dreams come true. So Maslow being the researcher he is, he did not stop with just one article that was published in 1943. He kept on refining the same theory. In 1962, he published another paper, 1987. And he, in 1987, he said that the order in the hierarchy is not nearly rigid as it may have implied in his earlier description. So it can be different for different people. Kisi ke liye safety needs sabse zada important hai because they already have the physiological needs in their lives. So Maslow further notes that the order of needs might be flexible based on external circumstances or individual differences. Okay, so for example, kisi ke liye esteem needs may be more important than love. Okay, somebody is looking for respect and status in society rather than finding a life partner. For others, the need for creative fulfillment may supersede even the most basic needs. So Maslow in 1987 also points out that the most behavior is multi-motivated and noted that any behavior tends to be determined by several or all of the basic needs simultaneously rather than by only one of them. Now let's summarize the discussion on Maslow's hierarchy needs pyramid with these important points. First, human beings are motivated by a hierarchy of needs. B. Needs are organized in a hierarchy of prepotency in which more basic needs must be more or less met rather than all or none prior to higher needs. C. The order of needs is not rigid but instead may be flexible based on external circumstances or individual differences. D. Most behavior is multi-motivated that is simultaneously determined by more than one basic need. Now let's move on to expanded hierarchy of needs. Yes, in 1960s, 70s, further researches were made on Maslow's hierarchy of need theory and seven stage and eight stage models were developed. So let's see, pehle paach similar hi theke? the original five stages remain there, but there are additions to it. So number one is biological and physiological needs. Number two, safety needs. Number three, love and belongingness needs. Number four, esteem needs, okay, which Maslow has classified into two categories, esteem for oneself and the desire for reputation or respect from others, status and etc. Number five, cognitive needs, knowledge and understanding. Ye ek naya addition kiya gaya. Knowledge and understanding, curiosity, exploration, need for meaning and predictability. Number six, aesthetic needs, appreciation and search for beauty, balance, 
form etc number 7 self actualization need the same as we have learned before which talks about realizing personal potential self fulfillment seeking personal growth and peak experiences maslow made a statement in 1987 he says a desire to become everything one is capable of becoming this is what self actualization is so up till now we saw the seven stage model ab ek eighth addition kiya gaya for eighth stage model and that is transcendence need this is about mystical experiences and certain experiences with nature aesthetic experiences religious faith pursuit of science service to others to in cheezon ka jo spiritual cheeze hum experience karte hain in our life that is what transcendence needs talk about now you can see the new refined maslow's motivational model pyramid here and you can see all the eight needs stated here now we've added a topic here and it is about characteristics of self actualizers this will explain you the essence of the entire lesson theek hai hame kya banna hai aur hame kaise self actualization ko hasil karna hai so jinhone self actualization experience kiya hai these kind of people perceive reality efficiently and can tolerate uncertainty they accept themselves and others for what they are spontaneous in thought and action they are problem centered not self centered these kind of people have unusual sense of humor they are able to look at life objectively they are very creative resistant to enculturation but not purposely unconventional so these kind of people are concerned for the welfare of humanity they are capable of deep appreciation of basic life experiences they enjoy that establish deep satisfying interpersonal relationships with very few people so they have very few close friends they have experienced you know peak in their lives they are in want of need for privacy they don't want to be put out there a lot they don't want to socialize or let their personal lives out in public they have democratic attitudes they have strong moral and ethical standards so these are the qualities of self actualization so now let's critically evaluate maslow's hierarchy of needs theory okay so the most significant limitation of maslow's theory concerns his methodology maslow formulated the characteristics of self actualized individuals from undertaking a qualitative method called biographical analysis jo bhi humne qualities abhi padhe wo unhone bahut hi famous logo ke biography se li seekhi aur usko include ki apni theory mein now from a scientific perspective this methodology had a lot of problems kyunki it is very truly argued that if you are taking biographical analysis as a method it is extremely subjective because it is based entirely on the opinion of the researcher पर्सनल ओपिनियंस आर ऑलवेज और मे बी समाइम्स प्रोन टू बायसनेस ठीक है इससे वैलिडिटी रिड्यूस हो जाती है डेटा की देव हो मासलोज ऑपरेशनल डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेल्फ एक्चुअलाइजेशन मस्ट नॉट बी ब्लाइंडली एक्सेप्टेड एज अ साइंटिफिक फैक्ट another criticism concerns maslow's assumption that the lower needs must be satisfied before a person can achieve their potential and self actualization this is not always the case we have already studied this but is pe a detailed you know uh, research kiya gaya criticism kiya gaya so let's see that so even maslow also agreed to this in 1987 he made a statement that we have seen already so ye ek important valid point hai by critics so we are going to study it quickly through examining cultures in which large number of people live in poverty such as india it is clear that people are still capable of higher order needs such as love and belongingness however this should not occur as maslow ne kaha tha ke pehle basic needs and then you go to safety and then love and belonging needs okay also many creative people such as authors artists lived in poverty throughout their lifetime yet it could be argued that they achieved self actualization so a valid point but maslow ne khud hi accept kiya to criticize kyu karna Thank you so much for watching and I hope you like the video it's a lengthy video but it's worth it you have to give it a watch do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to the youtube channel i will see you in the next video